Hey everyone, welcome to the Otoscope Excel video blog where I talk about my favorite Excel tips, tricks, and hacks. Today we've got a really juicy topic, splitting full names into first and last names. Seriously, every time I do this I feel like I am a boss in Excel. We're going to use lots of different functions. The left function, right function, find, and len. Clearly we've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Here I've got a list of full names in column A. I have two columns where I want to split the first name and last name. My strategy to do this is going to have three parts, all of which are based on the observation that every full name has a space between the first and last name. Okay, part one is to locate the space. How many characters into the name does the space occur? Once you've located the space, everything to the left of it is the first name. In part three, everything to the right of the space is the last name. Cool. Let's get started by locating the space. I'm going to use the find function to do this. The find function tells you where a specific character is in a string. Okay, so I'll type out my find function. The first argument is, what do I want to find? I want to find a space. So put it in quotes. The second argument, where do I want to look? The cell in A2, the full name. And the third argument, almost always enter a 1 there. That's the character position that Excel will start searching for the space at. Okay, my formula returns the number 7. That means the space in Ruthie Emmert's name is at character 7. Cool, let's move on to pulling her first name. Because we know the space in her name is at character 7, we know that her first name must be in characters 1 through 6. This is where the left function is going to help. The left function pulls characters from the left part of a string, however many you want. So let's type out an example. If I do left A2 for Ruthie Emmert, and say two characters, we only get the first two back the RU and Ruthie. Now I want the complete first name, so I need to tell Excel exactly how many characters each first name is. We're going to leverage the find function that we just wrote to do this. To illustrate how, though, I've got a little diagram here. The find function again tells us the location of the space in the full name. For Ruthie Emmert, that's a character number 7. I'm interested in pulling her first name, so I need everything up to the space. That's why we subtract 1 down here from the formula. This tells us that her first name length is six characters long, Ruthie. And the great thing is that this formula down here, the one that subtracts one, will tell us the first name length for anybody. And that's what I want to enter into my left function. For number of characters, I'm going to add that find formula and remember the minus one. Great, that gets us the first name. Let's move on to the last name. To get the last name, we need to use the right function. It works very similarly as left, but it starts counting characters from the end of the string. So for Ruthie Emmert, it would start at the T in Emmert and start counting backwards from there. As an example, I'll type out a right function, and the text we want is in A2, Ruthie Emmert's name, and I'll pull the rightmost three characters. So we get ERT back. Now I need to tell Excel how many characters long each last name is, so the right function knows how far back to go. The function we need to help us do this is called len. The len function tells us the length of a string, how many characters it is total. So as an example, len, and we'll point it back at Ruthie Emmert's name in A2, that gets us 13, so her full name is 13 characters long, including the space. Now I can combine len and find to get the length of a last name, but it's easier to show how to do this in another diagram. Here it's easy to see that the len function shows you the length of the whole name, and our original find function tells you the length up to the space. Therefore, the last name must be the difference between the two, the len part minus the find part. And let's insert that difference into our right function. I want the length of a2 minus find space a2 1, and close. Great, and that does the trick. Pulls out her last name. Let's copy these formulas down to populate names for everyone. And look at that. Pretty freaking slick. Awesome. That's all for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, I'd love to see your comments and questions on the blog.